Oh, uh, when my mother grew up in Ohio, her mother would bring in various babysitters. There were about 10 children in the family. And one of the babysitters happened to be white. My mother was the darkest of the 10 children. So that when this uh, woman saw my mother's skin, she thought she was dirty and took a lie and washed her in lie. As a result of this, my mother has burn marks on her arm. Okay. Uh, when I was in kindergarten, I had a teacher who was not very fond of black students. There were very few of us, possibly two, in the kindergarten class out of a class of perhaps 40. Uh, during the afternoon hours, we were given a time to sleep. Each of us had our own cot, and we were told that if we had to go to the bathroom, we should raise our hands, and one of the teachers would take us to the bathroom. I raised my hand, and my teacher flew into a rage, yelling, I can't stand these people, and took out sheets and tied me down to the bed. She left me there for a couple of hours, and then finally released me. One of the students filed a complaint, perhaps to a parent who did not know that I was black. Perhaps the child did not know or had not learned to differentiate race at that time. I later found out that that teacher was fired for bothering a student. Perhaps I was not the first one. I went to a high school in Philadelphia, which was for girls, which emphasized academic achievement. Everyone was very competitive uh, with one another for grades. I did very well in the history classes and asked that my history teacher put me in the accelerated class. She told me she would be happy with my grades to put me in the accelerated level. However, she felt that a white student with lower grades would go further. Therefore, she would not put me in the accelerated course. You know, you really must be paranoid. Those things never happen to me. I don't know anyone who, who's had those things happen to them. But then, of course, they're free white in 21, so they wouldn't have that kind of experience. I went to Boston University, and for my first year, I lived in a dormitory. I was entered um, as a freshman student in January. I had been very active in high school, running for various offices, so I decided to run for an office in Boston University within my dormitory. The office that they had available was one where you would act as a liaison with other universities. You would act as a liaison with MIT or with Harvard or Radcliffe. I did whatever was necessary to get my name on the ballot and just before the vote was to be taken my house mother brought me in to a meeting with the other officers of the house, all members of Boston University's student community and I was informed that my name was being removed from the ballot because they felt that my being black, and if I, of course, won, uh, I would be highly inappropriate for that office. Well, you ungrateful little, after all we've done for you. When I graduated from graduate school, I proceeded to look for a job because I had not been able to find a job, although I had applied at uh, 500 schools for teaching positions, I received approximately 500 rejections. 
So I decided to come to New York and go door to door looking for a, any kind of job. Someone suggested that I try Time Life uh, and to apply for a job as a picture researcher. I went to the Time Life building and the personnel office was willing to see me because they saw that I had Yale University on my application that I had graduated from Yale University. While I was waiting to be interviewed, I was sitting in the front office and a number of women came in looking for secretarial positions. The white women that came in looking for secretarial positions were told to fill out an application and they were told that after they turned in the application they would be notified if a position uh, came available and that, you know, if they were notified if they were interested in their qualifications. Any non-white woman who walked in, Hispanic uh, women or black women, I did not see any Asian women come in looking for jobs at the time, were told uh, that there were no positions available. They were not given applications. They were just told, point blank, we have no positions available, uh, and the women would leave. I eventually was interviewed and I was told that I would not be considered unless I came in with a slide projector. Don't worry, we'll find other tokens. Don't worry. I was invited to be in a wedding in Kinneybunkport, Maine. I was the only non-white at the wedding. One of the friends of the family owned an old house that had been built in, I believe, the early 1800s. She wanted to invite all of the members of the wedding party to her home for lunch. That included the five uh, bridesmaids and the five ushers. When we entered the house, she gave us a tour and finished the afternoon by giving us lunch. She seemed quite unnerved that I was a member of the wedding party and had her place changed from another table to my table where she could sit and watch me eat. At the end of the afternoon, as we were leaving, the men stood on one side of the door and the women stood on another side of the door. She shook hands with all of the white women, skipped over me, shook hands with all of the white men, and then came to me last. You really must be paranoid. Your art really isn't political either. You know, I hear your experiences and I think, well, it's, it's got to be in our art. Uh, that's the only way we'll validate you. And it's got to be in your art in the way that we consider valid. If it isn't in a, you know, used in a way, if your symbols aren't used in a way that we use them, then we won't acknowledge them. In fact, uh, you won't exist until we validate you. And you know, if you don't want to do what we tell you to do, then we'll find other tokens. After the wedding ceremony, there was a party held for the bride and groom and for the members of the wedding and the guest. Uh, they had a live band uh, dancing. Of course, no one asked me to dance until uh, near the end of the party, the minister, who was a man in his mid-60s, uh, he came over to me, winked, asked me to dance, and then whispered into my ear, I come to New York often. Why don't we get together? We can have some fun.
you ungrateful little, after all we've done for you. You know, we don't believe in your symbols. You must use our symbols. They're, they're not valid unless we validate them. And you really must be paranoid. I've never had an experience like that, but then of course I'm, I'm free white and 21. <laughs>